in this tutorial we are going to create some of game logo design based on the text in Inkscape. Let's begin. Let's create a background in here with a rectangle tool. Click this icon, and you can turn on the snap to the page border. So it will automatically snap to the corner of the page like this, and just drag it to here. Change the gradient color in here. Click this icon, or the shortcut is G. And you can change the mode to this radial. Click this. And on the center, just drag it like this. You can hold Ctrl Shift to make some proportional scale. And you can double click in here and press D to activate the dropper tool and change it to this color. Right for this center, double click again. Press D. Change it to this color. You can always adjust it by dragging it like this while holding Ctrl Shift to make it proportional. Next, create a text by pressing T and type change the font to. You can scale it up by holding Ctrl Shift on the keyboard like this. Give some path effect, but first you must convert it to path by going to path. Choose object to path. Then give some path effect in path, choose the path effect. Then click this add icon and find the perspective. Okay, you can press F2 or click this icon. And you can hold control on this node to change the perspective like this. And this too, you can hold control. You can drag this too. And this. Apply this path effect in path, choose the object to path. You see it will disappear in here, that means it's applied to this text. Now we are going to create some alter stroke. You can click this sky text and press Ctrl D to duplicate. Let's change the color to this color. Press D and press F1. Then make it combine in path, choose the combine or the shortcut is Ctrl K. Now make it outset in path, choose the outset or the shortcut is Ctrl and close parenthesis. You can press the shortcut for a few times, like this. Then send it to the lower back. But you see in my Inkscape, it's not working pretty well. So you just figure it by right click, move to layer, and click this layer one and try again you will see it will send to the lower back you can increase the outset by pressing this shortcut okay let's press it now we're going to give some gradient to our text you can click this gradient tool and change it to this linear mode just drag it down you can change this color by double click and press D to activate the dropper tool change it to this color for the bottom double click press D and change it to this color right you can adjust the gradient create another text in here press T and type change the font to and you can hold Control shift to Scale it up, place it around here. Do the same like this sky text by converting it to path first. Go to path, choose the objective path. Then activate the path effect in path, choose the path effect. Choose the perspective and press F2 or click this icon. Make it like the same. You can hold Ctrl Shift while dragging it. Press F1 and click. Apply the path effect in path, choose the object to path. Now it's disappear. Now we're going to create the outer stroke like this. You can press Ctrl D to duplicate. And let's change to this color. Press F1 again and make it combine in path, choose combine. Or the shortcut is Ctrl K. Then the last, create the outset in path, choose the outset, press the shortcut uh, for a few times. 
Now send it to the lower back. You can right click, move to layer, choose this layer, then click move, and move to the lower back. Give some gradient to this text, click, and click this gradient tool. You can drag it down, and let's change the color by double click, press D, and click this for the bottom. Increase the stroke more. You can press the shortcut, the offset. And I just make it close. You can press F2 and block this. Press F1, the move tool. And make it snap to here. And scale it up a little by holding Control Shift. Like this. Create some fill to this part. Right, with the easier tool, press B. And just fill the shape. Press D and change it to this color. You can remove the stroke by right click, choose remove stroke. Press F1 and move it to the lower back. Okay. For this part, unite this part by pressing F2 to find this, this selection. Hold Shift, then click and go to path, choose the union. And for here, click this, and to here, and this too. So this island alt stroke, and go to path, choose the union. So it will become this one shape. Now we're going to create some extra effect. You can press Ctrl D on the alt stroke, and then move it to the bottom a little like this, and move it to the lower back. Right, pretty easy. Now let's connect this part with Bezier tool, press B. Change it to this color, then remove the stroke by right click, choose remove stroke. Then make it union by shift click and go to path, choose union. Okay, you do the same in here. And for this inner text, you can press Ctrl D to duplicate. You want to create uh, some extrude effect from here and change it to this color. You can send it to the lower back like this. Do the same for here. Press Ctrl D. Move it on a little. Change it to this color. And you can bring this to the lower back. Click this. Move it up a little. You can press the up arrow on the keyboard. Connect this point with Bezier tool. Press B. Click on here. Then here. Move the stroke and move it to the lower back. Add some sword class effect in here, press B. With Bezier tool, you can draw some of this shape. Press D and change it to this color. Remove the stroke. Let's make it different. Press F2 or you can click this icon. Click this S letter. Then go to path, choose the difference. And create more. Now for the last thing, we're going to create some of the sunburst effect. You can see my previous video if you want to make another version of it. Go to the circle tool, click this icon. Hold Ctrl Shift to make it proportional scale like this. And let's change the color to white. Break this point to become like this. Around here, press F1 and hold Ctrl Shift while scaling. And click once again until you see this pivot point. 
just drag it to this corner around here just make it fit to the edge like this then go to object choose transform choose the rotate option let's make it by 45 degree then press ctrl D to duplicate and click apply do the same again press ctrl D then hit apply and just repeat okay now let's make this part combine you can hold shift then click one by one and go to path choose the combine press F1 and bring up to here give some gradient click this icon change it to this radial on the middle just drag it like this can adjust this node around here press F1 and send it to the lower back That's it, I hope you learned something new how to create this game text design in Inkscape with Gradient and the Path Effect. I'm Zaki from Zaki Design, create something good today. Thanks for watching.